guys, my name's David and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video guys, I haven't done one in such a long time. We are bringing back a career mode to the channel. Um, and I know you guys probably haven't seen a career mode on the channel in over like two months now when we started uh, the Barrow Youth Academy series. But guys, I've had to actually put that on hold for now because I'm working on something... On my PC business, I've had a problem with the save, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to retrieve it, and I don't really want to have to start all over again. So I thought instead of waiting to try and fix it and not uploading, I thought I'd bring you a next-gen um, career mode. As you guys probably can see on screen, we are using Ipswich. We are playing on the PS5. Um, so if you are excited about this new series, it's a RTG with Ipswich. We're going to go from League 1 to the Championship to the Premier League and try and win the Premier League and the Champions League with Ipswich Town. If you guys want to enjoy the series or this episode, be sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button as well. Um, so yeah, we're coming into Ipswich Town. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section of any tips and tricks along the way. Players we should maybe sign. We we'll probably are going to look to use the Youth Academy as well in this series. So it's going to be much fun. We've just started it. As you guys can see, and we're going to get into it. And hopefully we can have some fun with this one. So starting off, we have just jumped in. Uh, we'll take a look at the board stuff and stuff like that. So... We have chose a cup and we are just doing it in England, playing against just a younger teams, really, to be fair. So, our Youth Academy report. Let's take a look at this, see if we've got anyone decent in here. Oh, we do. We do, we do, we do. Alexandre Ribeiro, a Portugal 16-year-old, 72-94. A four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, overall of 63 already. Wow. Um, ooh. He's got some pace as well. His physical stats are looking decent. Maybe we could look to bring this guy up straight away. Um, we've got Aiden Thorpe. Some of these don't look that good, but this guy does. Alexandra Ribeiro looks absolutely fantastic. Hopefully he'll be world class for us as well. Um, I'm going to leave him there for now in that academy because he's only 16 and we have got quite a decent squad with Ipswich. We will go through the squad in just a minute. Um, but we're going to take a look at our objectives. So our overall obje ugh, objectives are uh, reach the round of 32 in the FA Cup, um, gain automatic promotion in EFL League 1. Hopefully we can do that within the first season. That is definitely what we'll be looking to do. The difficulty we are starting on, guys, is world class. And it's not because I'm terrible at the game and I'm not, I am not. I aren't brilliant, but I aren't terrible. So we've gone for the media world class. If it becomes too easy, we put it up. If it becomes too hard, we go down to professional. I want this series to be interesting. I don't want to just be every episode, we're just getting beat 5-0, 6-0, 3-0. And we're not getting points on the board. That just won't be enjoyable for you guys. So we'll dictate that and you guys can let me know as well in the comments section. But we will look to gain automatic promotion. Uh, so the youth bit, sign four players in your youth academy assigned to each of the following positions. Goalkeeper, defender, midfielder and forward. We can probably actually do that with just the youth academy we've got right now. Whether we use them or not is a different matter. So the youth development, sign four players as we did say. Brand exposure, get a streak of seven games without defeat in a home matches this season. Ooh, that... That might not be done, might be done. Hopefully we can, but I'm not guaranteeing that one. Financial, within the same season, sign one crucial player and make a profit of 2.7 million. This is another one I'm not sure if we'll do because our transfer budget, I will show in a second, is only actually 4 million. So um, we're probably going to use half of that on scouts. Uh, domestic success, critical. Ooh, League One gain automatic promotion. Reach round of thirty-two in the FA Cup. We'll see what we can do. Continental, obviously, we're not in any Europe um, tournaments, but that is our objectives. Um, we'll take a look at the team now, um, and we are going with this formation: a four-two-three-one narrow formation. But this is going to be our first team, and we're going to be starting with Jackson up top. We are going to probably rotate anyway because we'll need the full squad depth for how many games we have this year in League One. But our out and out striker is going to be Jackson to start with, with Nolan in that cam position. Uh, then with Freddie Sears, who's out on the left, he is our captain. He is actually quite old as well. He's uh, 30 or 32, I believe. Uh, with Edwards out on the right. Then sitting behind him, we've got Dozzle. And Bishop with Ken Lock at left back, Wolfenden centre back, Nisila at centre back, and Vincent Young at right back, and then Hawley as our keeper. And our bench is this 
we have got such a good squad. I'm excited to use Dobra. Bennett's is on loan, but if he performs, we'll look to maybe bring in permanent. Lancaster, uh, we've got Hawkins, we've got Judge, we've got Scoos, we've got Nidam. We've got a lot of good midfielders, hopefully, as well. Um, but our reserves looks just as good as well. We look like we've got such a good starting squad. And to be fair, in League One, we might not have to add to this that much. We've got a squad that definitely can battle for the top two. Obviously, with Hull City in the mix now as well, they'll be looking for automatic promotion and Charlton as well that come down. So it's going to be such an interesting season, guys. So if you do enjoy it, hit that like button. It'd be much appreciated. As I did say, our transfer budget is not far. It's actually 2.3. So it's not, it's not amazing, um, but what we are probably going to do is look to hire another youth scout. And who can we afford? <laughs> Ooh, David Clark, a four-star, four-star. We could probably afford this Vasil Mirinov, five-star, four-star, if we tweak the transfer budget a little bit. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll hire that scout. Where is he? We'll hire this one. This Russian scout. Hire this guy up. He's the best of the bunch. And we can send this guy. We'll send this guy to Scotland. For. I'm going to. If we can afford it. I would like to send him near enough for full season to be fair. What we'll do. We'll send him six months for now. And then we'll go from there. And we'll send this guy back to England. See what he can bring back. Joseph Peacock. Two-star, three-star. Not amazing. But we'll see what they do. We'll send them out and hopefully we can get some results. Um, hopefully we will get to be able to start. Uh, play one game today after the preseason. The preseason we are just going to sim, guys. Just because there's no point playing it. And um, hopefully we need to sort of try and as well. See how much money we can get from it. So we shall advance and try and get through some of these preseason games. We've got Salford, Lincoln and Burton in our group. Oh, Freddie Sears. Greetings, boss. On behalf of the whole team, I wanted to welcome you to Ipswich Town. The future's exciting, my friend. So we, we'll just skip training for now because uh, it doesn't really matter. We were just in preseason, so... I'll start training just before the actual league starts. So a quick sim. Get a 1-0 win. Jackson. Ooh, Sears missed a penalty by the looks of that. So we get a 1-0 victory over Salford City. Moving on straight away to Burton. If we can pick up a win there as well. Uh, you know what? Just to keep mixing it up, we'll put our second team out. It doesn't matter. And we win again 2-1. Hawkins and Hughes gets us the goals. And we move on 2-1. Ooh, Salford and Lincoln have drawn. So we shall be top of the table on six points going into final game. International management bad about Hughes. Captaincy for Salford fixture. Stephen Ward. Uh, Hughes, we're probably not going to look to sell on just yet until, until we know what we want to do with the squad. Guys, as well, let me know if you are watching this, who, who we could potentially look at to maybe even sign, or do we just stick with the team we've got for now? Uh, obviously, we don't have much money, like so we would probably have to get rid of some of the deadwood in the team, but to be fair, I'm quite happy to stick with the first well, the first 11 and the 24-man squad, to be fair. Uh, we'll sim this last game against Lincoln with our first team. Hopefully, we get another win. Oh, and we do. Edwards, we're unbeaten so far in the preseason tournament. I'll take that. I'll happily take that. Uh, right, moving on to semi-finals, we've got Peterborough. Ooh, Aubameyang's gone to Barcelona. Oh, we got some money for doing that as well. We've got 360 grand. That is perfect. Moving on, let's try and get another win here against Peterborough. Oh, no, we get beat. Dembele, the 63rd minute. 
that is us out then. But we, it was a good run. We have got a transfer offer for Luke Wolfenden, 1.6 million. This guy's going nowhere. He's our young centre-back, only 21-year-olds. He's probably going to be here. I'm hoping to try and keep some of the squad the whole way if we can. That would be ideal. And Luke, Luke Wolfenden could be one of them centre-backs we keep long-term. All right, guys, just before we jump into our first game of the season against Crew Alexander, we've just got some stuff to do. We've got Jack Lancaster, boss. I know I didn't have a great preseason. There were reasons for that. I wasn't feeling 100%, but I'm over it now. If you give me the chance against Crew, I'll show you what I can bring to the team. There's real competition for places, and that's the honest truth. Uh, I've been playing pretty well lately. I'm feeling really good. I hope that means I won't be on the bench. Nope. I'll think about it. Uh, oh, we got our youth monthly scout reports back let's take a look at this one this is from england we've got an alby rogers he's not going to be anywhere near good enough uh alby glover nope abraham terry hmm. no he's not going to be good enough he's only 15 that's probably why his value is that but he's overall 53 to 71 no, I'll get rid of. Uh, let's hopefully see what Scotland brings us back. We got an Aidan Nielsen. We're going to say no. Jack Ugart, nope. Uh, Riley Shanks, not good enough. Lucas McPherson, and then a Malcolm Murdoch, not good enough. So that is it. Let's jump into this game against Crew guys, and hopefully we can come out with a win. These are the teams starting out with our first team as we did say Jackson. They're using Jessica Line and. Daniels, NG, Porter, Powell, Kirk, Pickering, and Beckles. This is probably going to be a tough game. Let's see how we get on. Here we go then. Hopefully we can get off to a good start in the beginning of the season. We'll watch the teams come out. Here we go. I'm so excited, guys. Can't wait to get proper stuck into this road to glory. It's going to be so much fun. Our keeper's massive. Holy. Wow. Next to see as he looks absolute giant. Let's get into this then. Let's get off to a good start. Hopefully... We can do all right. Let's just pass it about. Let's get a feel of the team. Wolfenden's quite a big centre-back as well. Out wide to Vincent Young. Can he go down the line for Edwards? He's got the pace to get past him. Turns it back in. Oh. Ball away. Oh, that's a massive error. No, 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 no. Brilliant from Vincent Young. <gasps> oh no 1-0 no. down Not the best of starts at all That was just sloppy from Hawley What a massive mistake Vincent Young should have done better as well Their first proper attack mate Sustained attack and the score Corner Lovely delivery in please Dozzle Oh Nisila, I don't know how you pronounce that name properly. I will get there. Oh, go on! One one Nolan, our first goal of the career mode, and Nolan John Nolan gets it. It was a new, but a goal's a goal, guys. We're one nil down. We are now one one. Nice little play from Jackson. Lovely ball in John Nolan. Try and kick on from this. Or from Vincent. Go on, Nolan's through. Can we get a can we get a second? Oh lovely shot, but we get a nice corner just before half time. See what we can do with this. Dozzle ball in. Ball's back out. Has he got time to put it back in? Brilliant ball back in. Nope. A 
And that is it, guys. A 1 1 at half time. Bishop to Nolan. Go on. Jackson's in. Go on. Teddy Bishop. We are 2 1 up in the 52nd minute. Teddy Bishop with a second. Come on. We probably deserve it. We've been playing okay after 1 0. Once we went down 1 0. Crew haven't had any other chances, so. See if we can push on now and grab a third. Go on out. Oh, inside to Edwards. Go on. Jackson's in again. Can he? Yes. Come on. You beauty. Get in. 3 1 up now. 57th minute. Should have three points on the board in our first game. I'm chuffed. Lovely player. Vincent Young's been a standout player straight away at right back. He's done a class job. Actually, with us being 3 1 up, I'm going to make some substitutions. Uh, I'm going to take Jackson off and give Norwood a run out. Um, I'm going to put Bennett's on. See what he's like. And I want to really try Dobra. Where, they, where can Bennett's play? Bennett's can play on the right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Sears back on and take Edwards off. So hopefully... Go on, Sears. Go on, Nolan's on the move. Brilliant play again. Nolan back inside to Sears. <gasps> Edwards in. And that is four. Beautiful play down that left-hand side. Edwards, even though he's going off, we are 4-1 up, guys. Beautiful play. Sears into Edwards. Wow. Absolutely dominating the game now. Guion Edwards, first goal of the season. He's put a beautiful ball into Norwood. Has Norwood got... God, he's quite nippy. That is it, guys. We win 4-1 against Crew Alexander in the first game of the season. Caden Jackson with a 9.6. Ooh, Hull and Peterborough draw. I'm expecting Hull and Charlton to be up there or thereabouts. Doncaster, Sunderland. I forgot Sunderland are in this one as well. Hey, Gaffer. Thanks for listening to what I had to say. I really appreciate the chance to play while I'm such in good form. Keep your feet on the... Well, no, it was a great performance, to be fair. Our second game, then, of this season and this episode is against Wigan. What I might do it might be the last game of this episode, actually. But what I am going to look to do, guys, in every episode, I'm going to try and get through a month. Whether I can play all them games, or it might be a case of play three, sim two, or play two, sim one. It, it all depends. But if we need to play them, say it's coming towards the end of the season and we're very struggling, then I will just play them all out. But um, hopefully after this episode. So what I might do is play this Wigan game. And then next episode, we will get through the Walsall... Peterborough, Bristol City, Rochdale and Lincoln and then that'll be August done and then September following, following, so on, so on so it's going to be the last game of this episode guys up against Wigan and then, yeah, hopefully we can do okay we are away, but let's get right into this one so here we go then we're going to jump straight into this one showing off our new away kit as well hopefully we can do as good as what we did in the last game just hopefully try and not concede Oh, okay. Got away with that one. Bishop's put a lovely ball down the line for Sears. I was about to say, if that's not a free kick. Go on, Bishop. Oh! <laughs> Teddy Bishop. That was just a hit and a hope. But what a left foot strike. Is he left footed? I need to check after this game because what a strike. Wow. Was not expecting that from Teddy Bishop in centre midfield, but what a lovely strike. Wow, Wumpf. <laughs> no keepers saving that. We are 1 0 up. Brilliant goal in the 19th minute. It's his second goal of the season. He's played in midfield. <laughs> he can carry on scoring like that for us, and we should be. Go on, Nolan. Oh my god. Oh, 
Kenny Bishop. Wow, he can hit a ball. He can strike them. Oh my God, this guy looks, he feels so good. How have we not scored there? Brilliant from Sears and Teddy Bishop. Bang. Top left-hand corner like his last one. This guy could be our best midfielder already. He's laying down a mark to say, you're not dropping me. He plays like this every game. He won't be getting dropped. Brilliant from Jackson. Out wide to Sears again. Sears back in Nolan. Jack. Go on, Kenlock. Track back with Crankshaw. No, 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 no. Young. Ah, they've got one back. They're back into this game now. 55th minute. Right, we need to make sure we get another one now. Close this out. Go on, Edwards. Oh, brilliant turn of pace. Come back in. No one's in the box. Oh, I'm going to make some subs. I'm going to bring on Downs. For, you know what? Bishop's played well, but he's getting tired. So I'm going to bring on Downs. I'm going to give Lancaster a run out. And I, don't, I don't know if... Uh, I'm going to bring Norwood on. He felt good when I brought him on last time. So tired now. Go on, Norwood, finish that. 3 1, 89th minute, James Norwood. The next gen showing it, 90th minute winner. Well, it's not a winner, but a 90th minute goal. This is what you get now on the PS5s or the Xbox Series X. Wow, I'd love this. It's just a little minor details what can enhance your, your time in playing. This is why I brought this next gen career mode, guys. Instead of normally being on PC, I thought. Why not give next gen a go? Graphics are better, everything's better, except from you can't mod on console. But wow, 3 1, guys. What a way to end the episode. Guys, if you are enjoying the series or go on to enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. I can't wait till we get seasons after seasons into this. Like, I mean, I want to get like four, five, six seasons worth of uh, with Ipswich Town. Well, hopefully just be able to win the Champions League. Oh, go on, Nolan. Beautiful turn. Into Norwood. Ah, that is it, though, guys. A 3-1 victory over Wigan. Six points. And hopefully sit in top of the table in League One. Teddy Bishop. What a performance. A 10 a 10.0 score. Sunderland get beat. Who else do? Are we sat top order? We got a league game. Uh, not league game. An EFL Cup match against Walsall at the beginning of the next episode, guys. But I am going to leave it there for this episode. Otherwise, it's going to be an extremely long episode. I'm trying to cram as much as of this I can into it. If you have enjoyed, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, guys. And subscribe if you're new around here. And I shall see you guys in episode two.